In this SNP, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Group Policy module for Windows PowerShell on Windows Server 2016 to create a starter Group Policy object. So let's get started. Let's first take a look at the Group Policy Management Console. If you've just installed this by default, you'll see only two default Group Policy objects. Since we're going to create a couple of new ones, we'll come back to this screen later. Let's first start by importing the Group Policy module as shown on line 2. Once the group policy module has been imported, we can then run the new -gp starter gpo commandlet. As you'll see on line 5, I gave mine the name of new desktop baseline with a comment of this policy contains all corporate baseline standards. You can give this any name or comment that you like, it's really up to you. And as we run the code on line 5, we should see some output on the screen that describes the policy object that we just created. Since we're going to create two different group policy objects, we're going to go ahead and focus on line 8 now. And if you look at it closely, I've added an additional parameter to this set. That parameter is server. What this does is it creates the policy directly on the sysvol share of that domain controller. You could also list the full domain name, put it on the central store if you have that configured. Let's go ahead and create that second policy object now. And as you can see, the output on the screen is correct. And we can verify one of the policies just to make sure everything was correct. If you look at line 11, we'll use the git gp starter gpo and give it the name of the policy that we wanted it to have. And as you'll see here, that policy has got the incorrect name at the moment, so let's go ahead and type in the correct one. Type in our most recent one, and we'll go ahead and hit F8 to run the code. And as you see, the information was returned as correct, so the policy should now be present. We can verify that again by also looking at the Group Policy Management Console by simply refreshing the screen, and we now have two new baselines that can be copied into normal GPOs. And we can edit these, add our new baselines, configure any security settings that we need to have, then copy them into our normal GPOs. Thanks for watching.